why did you choose naval architecture arnab what is that one quality that you want to get in yourself or bring in yourself so that you do good in life any tough phase of your life that you could share with us why do you want to join nautic fleet hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di success aapko tabhi milti hai jab aap uske liye koshish karte ho sahi tarike se karte ho arnab ghosh a dreamer a visionary jisne dono package se padha उसके बाद फिर भी उसे लगा तैयारी अच्छी नहीं है इंटरव्यू पैकेज के लिए बोला दो आई वाज नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड मैंने बोला चलो जय माता दी लेके देखते हैं लिया उसका इंटरव्यू कुछ सजेशंस दिए कुछ फाइन ट्यूनिंग करी जो कि मुझे लगा बहुत जरूरी है उस बच्चे के लिए एंड येस आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी जब मुझे उसका फोन आया कहता सर मंदिर में बैठा हूँ सर सबसे पहले अपनी मम्मी को कॉल किया उसके बाद आपको कॉल किया सर ये बताने के लिए सर मेरा सिलेक्शन नॉटिक फ्लीट में हो गया सर ओ गॉड आई वॉज सो डैम हैप्पी क्योंकि जब आप बच्चों की जीत होती है साथ में मेरी जीत होती है एज अ मेंटल एंड डिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी सो आइए टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करते हैं इस बच्चे का आगे मॉक इंटरव्यू देखते हैं जो कि मैंने इंटरव्यू पैकेज के थ्रू लिया है और प्लीज आगे कमेंट्स के अंदर अपने ओपिनियंस ड्रॉप कीजिएगा कहाँ पर आपको लगा इस बच्चे ने अच्छा किया और खुद भी कोशिश कीजिए सीखने की इस मॉक इंटरव्यू पैकेज के थ्रू हाई एवरी वन जय माता दी सी दिस इज माई फर्स्ट मॉक इंटरव्यू सो ऑल दोस्ट पीपल डू नॉट नो गाइज दिस इज अर्नब or he is going to go for he is from amet university he is a naval architecture student and he is going to go for his first uh, mock for first interview for nautic fleet hi arnab how are you fine sir doing great so arnab first let's start with the introduction please introduce yourself okay yes, sir so my name is arnab ghosh i belong to siliguri west bengal i had completed my 10th and 12th from state board west bengal after that i had done my b in naval architecture from amet university chennai and from there itself i had completed my gme so for my family background is concerned there are four members in my family along with my parents i have an elder sister if i talk about my hobbies i am fond of playing football and swimming that's all about me sir okay great uh, arnab why did you choose naval architecture so after my class 10 i had a career counseling in my school from there itself i came to know about merchant navy but after i had completed my 12th i told my parents to do i want to do marine engineering but they refused due to lack of knowledge they are having in this field i was totally deserted and lost all my hope then i came to know about this naval architecture thing thing like after doing the b in naval architecture if i do one year gme i will be a part of this field and eventually i'll get some time to convince my parents and they will also get some time to gather some proper knowledge so that they will give me the permission to do this Mind engineering course. That's the reason I choose to do naval architecture, sir. So you were able to convince them actually over a period of these. Yeah, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. By the time they had also gathered proper knowledge, till the four years, even I had guided him, guided them a lot. So now they are totally convinced about this field. Okay. And happy about uh, my decision. Okay, Arnab, I would love to know one strength of yours, uh, which will really help you do good on ship. Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Actually, I am a good team player. It is a skill that I picked during my school time as a member and a captain of the football team. Often, I told by my peers that I am a good motivating leader during any kind of stressful situation. So, this team player situation will help me to work on board with different kind of people to work in a better way. I believe that, sir. Okay. Arnab, what is that one quality that you want to? get in yourself or bring in yourself so that you do good in life or you become a good engineer on board ship so the best thing i want to do is like sir i want to improve my communication skills over the time i am working on it and still i think i will progress in it in future and if i communicate with people in a better way so that they will also communicate and i will tell to able to them i will tell them what kind of problem i am facing on board or in life so the proper communication is required to communicate with anyone so that they can understand our situation so i want to improve my communication skills okay Now, better way okay arnab suppose you go on ship and you find a very very rough and tough chief engineer who is very harsh with you very rude with you how are you going to handle that what are you going to do what's your strategy sir the strategy is you like in one of our video you are given one mantra like whatever the situation is whatever the time it will be it will pass on and that chief engineer might be the first time i will be sailing with in the in future i will never see him again that thing i will keep in mind this is the first 5 to 6 months time will go on i will work hard i will do my work as it is i will not be motivated 
because in the back of mind i will keep in mind that this time will also go on and in future might be i will get someone better so during my starting itself i will face this situation it will help me to develop my character itself if i will get this type of situation okay uh thoda sa better kar sakte ho kaise sir these tough times are going to make me a strong person like i said over there yes sir that, that that's what my, i want to say yeah, that means you are watching at least somebody is watching my youtube videos and that is good okay chalo let's yes, move sir. ahead uh any tough phase of your life that you could share with us where you could which you can share with us toughest phase of your life yes sir yes sir like when i was in fifth semester my father got retired that year but he was unable to pay my college fees itself that time i got a notice from the college that i was not be able to sit for the exam as i know my family situation i was not able to force them also i was totally deserted and lost all my hope that might be my one year will be go down but after some time my par- my mother sold us some jewelers and all and my father paid that fees that is the most toughest situation i had faced in my life because at that time i was not able to help my parents in whatever way i was not able to help him i wanted to help them but i was helpless totally that is the biggest regret and the bad time in my life okay uh why do you want to join nautic fleet so honestly saying this is a i got an opportunity for this the nautic fleet and eventually when i researched about this company it is a growing company it has all the basic facilities that a person need in the ship like it has indian cuisine on board wifi facilities it's a growing company it take care of its employee uh, faster promotions they had said in their banner moreover they have oil tankers and gas tankers and it is a growing company it will help me to grow in a better and a faster way your non technical part is over which is going to go on the youtube video If you have liked this video and you want to watch the technical interview part of Arnab Ghosh please go watch this video you will definitely learn something new